All right, so Viltrox sent me the DC550 Pro. Viltrox has an onboard monitor. So if you know Viltrox, they've done some lens adapters and even some actually pretty good lenses. But now it looks like they're into monitors. I just thought this would be kind of like a little unboxing video and I'll set it up real quick on the GH6 and see, you know, what it looks like. It's supposed to have, I think, 1200 nit brightness on here. So let's uh, try to get it open, see what's in there. I mean, it's very well packaged. Got this nice carrying case. It was kind of rattling around. I was assuming that that was probably the zippers. This is a really, it's actually a really nice case. Maybe a little bit thicker than like a Nintendo Switch controller case. Here is the actual monitor and Let's see. Okay, Viltrox. It's got this plastic cover on there that's kind of, it looks like a special sunshade. So that should... Oh my... <laughs> what? Now it is kind of plasticky feeling. Well, I mean, it's got a little bit of weight to it, but I mean, it's pretty plasticky feeling. So the sunscreen can just... Pop right off, and there you go. Got some function buttons up at the top, SD card slot, um, type C power maybe. And then it does have a battery pack right here. Oh yeah, so it's got DC power, type C, USB type C power. It's got some threads built right in there, which will you know put on headphone monitoring. So a couple other things in the package, you've got you know the monitor mount, and they did send a uh, battery as well, a Viltrox battery. Now this is kind of interesting because it looks like it has a switch on it. And it's got a little gauge on here to see the power of the battery. So let's pop that on, it's nice. The Viltrox logo is upside down on the battery part. I mean, that's not a big deal, but aesthetically. Oh, it's already powered on, here we go. Oh. So these are your shortcuts, false color, waveform. Um, there you can go in through, and it is a touch screen as well. So you got volume, histogram, vector scopes, put your LUTs in, LUT table. Oh, it's got the V-log, it's already have V-log in there. Okay, S-log, got, so it's got those LUT tables in there. It's not too bad. And you can use a scroll bar to scroll through the settings as well. So, um, let's just see what else is in the package here. Uh, looks like we have all of our charge cables. It, ooh, it does come with a few HDMI cables here. There we go. Mini HDMI. Um, this one, I don't see a regular size HDMI. Just a mini, like a micro, and maybe a mini. And then you have the USB-C power for the Viltrox. All right, so let's slide the monitor on. Um, it looks like the HDMI slot and in and out are on the bottom. Um, you do have a couple different filter threads. So you can go side view or you can thread it side and then thread it on the bottom here. So I'm just going to slide this into the shoe mount. There we go. So we got the Viltrox mounted to the top of the GH6. So this is a 5.5 inch screen. So it's a little bit bigger than, you know, what I'm used to with the Atomus Ninja with the five inch screen. So I don't know if I love the HDMI on the bottom. I only have this long cord right now with me. So let's uh, take that in there. And it does fit like right alongside there with this big like HDMI base right there. All right, I got to switch the HDMI cable out. All right, I grabbed a different HDMI cable because that one was a little too thick for my GH6 on here. So, and this might be a better test anyway because this is the type of cord that I would use anyway with a setup like this so 
It's a little better. All right, so right now I'm not getting a signal, and I think that might be because I'm in a 4K60 option. So let's go down to maybe a 4K24. See if I get a signal there. There it is. So the 4K60 option with the GH6, I was not getting a signal with it. But as soon as I put it to 4K, you know, 24 frames, then I was getting the signal. So you see like all of the, uh, I don't know if you can see it on the screen, but you're getting all the scopes that you would need. So you've got RGB, you've got waveform, you've got vector, you got audio scopes. Um, then you can go and switch those off. Do false color, which is great. You know, this is just the initial unboxing and, you know, initial looks at the monitor. I mean, Viltrox looks like they have a pretty good, pretty good uh, monitor, top camera monitor system here. So Viltrox, thanks for sending it my way. I'm excited to test it out, um, see what it has to offer, see if it's bright enough in the sun, because that's an issue that we run into quite a bit. If you want to check out this Viltrox top camera monitor, make sure you check out the link in the description. I love rigging out the GH6 and GH5, really all my cameras. If you want to see how I do that, make sure you check out this video right here. There's a little bit of a delay on it.